Today, we have an incredibly important and eye-opening video to share with you. Amidst the gritty chaos of a prison uprising, body cam lenses peer into the heart of Turi Penitentiary, where Ecuadorian police stage a dramatic intervention. Riot shields clash like thunder, desperate inmates jostling for freedom against the oppressive tide. Suspense hangs in the thick tear gas, a turbulent dance between order and anarchy. The footage immerses us in the visceral struggle, revealing the intense reality of unrest. Within this tumult, rival gangs collide, each frame pulsating with the impending clash. As tension mounts, the prison walls become a canvas of rebellion. A shocking twist unfolds, marking a violent turning point in Ecuadorian penitentiaries. By the time the echoes of the struggle fade, at least 79 inmates have met their fate, leaving the aftermath shrouded in the unsettling haze of violence and uncertainty. In the hushed corridors of Ikoyi Prison, Lagos, Nigeria, a young lady embarks on an undercover mission, phone discreetly recording, to uncover the pervasive corruption within Nigeria's criminal justice system. As she approaches the prison entrance to visit Oho Olajumoke, a chilling encounter unfolds. A male warder seated at the reception becomes the face of corruption, demanding a bribe for access. In a discreet office, negotiations happen. As the lady was asked to pay 1,000 naira, she skillfully bargains down to 500 naira. <laughs> The transaction unfolds, exposing the systemic bribery embedded within the corridors of justice, leaving viewers on edge, yearning for more revelations from this gripping expose. In a Brazilian prison, tensions arose as security protocols held a small white cat on the basis of suspension. The intrigue deepens when the pet is apprehended, revealing an undercover operation. The video captures the tension of the moment, leaving viewers on the edge as authorities unravel the mysteries concealed beneath the fur of an unexpected courier. Taped to its body, the cat conceals contraband, cell phones, drills and more. The unfolding drama underscores the ingenuity of smuggling attempts, where even seemingly innocent creatures become unsuspecting accomplices. Within the shadows of prison walls, a secretly recorded video captured on the phone unveils a grim reality. In this disturbing footage, inmates wield a phone, revealing scenes of drug-induced drama. The alarming incident shows a lack of supervision, pushing prisoners to hazardous extremes. A white prisoner's scary experience causes tension as something bad is about to happen to him. <laughs> These haunting echoes of past trauma resonate as the terrified white man utters, I felt that before. The atmosphere intensifies, portraying the disturbing norm within Alabama's prison system. The disheartening truth unfolds, leaving us to start questioning the humanity within these walls, where violence simmers beneath the surface, a poignant indictment of a broken system. <coughs> <laughs> Based on the video evidence, it appears likely that the man endured a sexual assault or mistreatment, possibly at the hands of an inmate who was previously under the influence. He likely experienced trauma, yet upon reviewing the video, there's no apparent harm inflicted. In a video from Wandsworth Prison, London, that surfaced on the internet in 2016, a drone becomes a courier for contraband. The footage reveals a black bag, suspended from a drone, floating into a cell window. Two makeshift hooks extend from the cell, deftly snatching the bag. This shocking incident was captured and surfaced on the internet in 2016. However, it highlights the inventive methods employed by imprisoned criminals for drug and mobile phone smuggling.
the BBC carried out an investigation and exposed that over 2,000 banned items, including drugs and phones, were smuggled into UK prisons in 2015. The prevalence of such tactics has more than doubled since 2013, posing a severe challenge to prison security. In a surprising turn of events captured on camera, a routine medical checkup turns into a daring escape at a Bagalkot police station in India. The footage unfolds in the station as two suspects, initially held in custody, await their checkup. Seizing an opportune moment when officers turn their backs, the two suspects make a swift break for freedom. Their escape unfolds with an unexpected twist, leaving us intrigued and anticipating the next moves by the police officers in this funny incident in Bagalkot, Karnataka. In the video, an audacious escape happened in the temporary detention center in the Republic of Taiva. Two previously convicted locals, aged 30 and 32, faced charges of assaulting an on-duty officer. Funny enough, interestingly, that wasn't the only action these convicts had in mind. They are on the verge of committing another unlawful act. On April 14, 2019, within the facility, the 32-year-old convict feigned a request to enter a storage room, where he, along with his accomplice, choked the on-duty officer into unconsciousness. Meanwhile, the other assailant used a knife to inflict injuries. Exploiting the keys obtained, they opened cells, allowing seven more detainees to flee. The reckless escapees now confront separate charges, all stemming from their audacious breakout, revealing a shocking lapse in security. In a jaw-dropping turn of events, police officers wearing gloves unveiled tin cans as if they were revealing the latest tech gadgets. It was revealed that they had just apprehended an individual for possessing contraband. It's disheartening that the culprit was identified as a rogue member within the law enforcement ranks. And specifically, a prison warder who was secretly bringing in a lot of illegal drugs into Zonderwater Prison in Cullinan, South Africa. The footage doesn't spare details, showing the officers unboxing cans containing illicit substances. <laughs> The shocking discovery led to a search at the warder's home on prison grounds, revealing more contraband including cell phones, SIM cards, dagger and illegal tablets. She was arrested on December 27, 2021 and spent Christmas behind bars facing charges of drug possession. In the shadowy aftermath captured on CCTV, a hooded figure dressed in black orchestrates and escaped from the Isik Atta District Police Station. At 7.09 p.m. on October 10th, the investigative detainee, 27-year-old Akhmatov Tilek, slips through the back door, navigating the metal barricade with swift, clandestine precision. We suspect his actions may stem from a rationalization within his conscience, possibly indicating involvement in something profoundly unlawful and reckless. Although he was earlier suspected of theft, his sudden disappearance immediately triggers the siren protocol. Clad in a white sweatshirt, black jacket and dark jeans, he leaves behind a puzzle for authorities, shrouded in the enigma of his unanticipated flight from the Isik Atta pretrial detention center. The silent drama unfolds, leaving us to piece together the intrigue of this unexpected escape. <laughs> In San Ramon de Samegua Penitentiary, a meticulously orchestrated plan unfolds. The notorious professor, a.k.a. Weimar Coahuila, masterminds a prison escape. With stealthy precision, the prisoners craft an escape bridge, bypassing security cameras and exploiting vulnerabilities. The escape involves calculated moves, from iron supports to ropes meticulously tied to boards. You would be surprised to see how the plan was carried out. As the escape progresses, the notorious figures make their descent, each facing varying fates. A 
Amid the chaos, the professor, former sub-officer Ender Casares Herrera, emerges as a central figure. His criminal legacy intertwines with the elaborate plan, turning a potential flight into collaboration with his fellow escapees. The shocking video captures the inmate's calculated escape, revealing flaws in prison security. Even the son of a prison guard unwittingly aids the criminals, underlining the deep-rooted issues within the system. The aftermath sees fractured bones, recaptured fugitives, and unanswered questions, casting a spotlight on the institutional lapses that facilitated this audacious break from justice. In a daring escape, prisoners at a Sao Paulo youth detention facility orchestrated a breakout following a riot. The video captures the tense moments as 54 inmates flee, navigating a climb and leaping to freedom. So how did they plan and execute this escape, and what was their strategy for making it happen? The chaos unfolded when underage offenders set mattresses ablaze, engulfing the prison yard in flames. During the riot, nearly 30 staff members were held hostage, with the director sustaining injuries. The footage provides a gripping glimpse into the inmates' escape, leaving authorities in pursuit as the search for the escapees continues. Here's another heartbreaking incident from inside a jail. In a prison riot captured in Brazil, chaos erupts as cartel members among the inmates ignite a violent upheaval. The video reveals the prison in Taubat, Sao Paulo, engulfed in flames after doors are shattered and objects set ablaze. The police, grappling to regain control, face a harrowing situation. The searing visuals encapsulate the perilous atmosphere within the facility, leaving viewers on edge as the riot's full extent remains shrouded in the unfolding turmoil. Amid the chaos, prisoners seize hostages, including volunteer visitors and two guards. The intensity unfolds as the inmates' volatile actions expose the vulnerability of the prison's security. A bold getaway went down in taco sale when a suspect skillfully dodged the investigative committee by making a quick exit through a window. And that brings us to the question, how did he manage to slip away under such heavy security in the building? This resident accused of theft seized his own case files during questioning at the Russian investigative committee in July 2018. The 32-year-old man swiftly snatches the folder and leaps out the window, materials in tow. The audacious act occurs when the investigator briefly steps out, leaving the suspect alone with his lawyer. The video captures the suspenseful chase, with the law enforcement officer pursuing the suspect attempting to scale a fence. As realization dawns that apprehension is unlikely, the officer retreats, presumably to call for reinforcements. In a covert video exposing prison contraband, a man skillfully reveals the technique of smuggling phones. The video reveals an innocent Coca-Cola bottle, but things get interesting when someone pops the top off. Ingeniously concealed within the bottle's interior are smartphones. This covert method, depicted in meticulous detail, showcases the unique and intricate process of infiltrating phones into prison facilities. Later on, we discover the bottle was skillfully sliced in half, with the top one still holding a drink, and the bottom one painted black, secured with layers of tape. This revelation adds an exciting twist to the cat-and-mouse game played between police officers and contraband. In a dramatic prison escape, 1,300 Brazilian inmates fled confinement, holding guards hostage. What went down and how it all unfolded is still a bit of a puzzle. The centers of penitentiary progression in Mongagua, Tremembe, and Porto Feliz got into hot water with the government due to some rebellion and questioning around the temporary suspension of departures. It makes you wonder if it was all part of a master plan. The video shows total chaos as prisoners make a run for it. It turns out it kicked off because of some COVID-19 restrictions. Officials are talking about health risks in the semi-open setup. Now, we're left wondering how many escaped and the whole prison revolt is keeping us hooked.
Amid the snowy weather, a drone captures prisoners atop an Australian prison. The chilling scene unfolds on July 12th, revealing a raging fire within the Parkley Correctional Centre. But we were left concerned about what actually transpired and led to the fire outbreak. Over a dozen inmates defy confinement, ascending to the roof. Aerial footage exposes their daring escape, utilizing ropes to navigate barbed wires. As cops step in, things get tense. The rebellious prisoners are ushered away, creating a silent spectacle that keeps viewers on the edge. It unfolds a gripping tale of defiance and desperation amid the prison chaos, with around 14 inmates caught up in this chilling aerial drama. Under the cloak of darkness, chaos unfolded at Monte Cristo Jail in Boa Vista. In a daring mass escape captured by CCTV, prisoners orchestrated their flight, wielding makeshift ladders to scale the prison walls. How could this have happened? On the night of June 7, 2016, at precisely 8.37pm, a daring act of rebellion unfolded. Tens of inmates embarked on a desperate bid for freedom. After pulling off a clever escape that left the place a bit chaotic, the video captures how these inmates showed some serious resourcefulness and quick thinking. It gives you a peek into a wild night of jailbreak and chase. Fortaleza, Brazil's streets are like a real-life showdown between crime gangs and the authorities. These tough crews, holed up in the favelas, are calling the shots, pulling off attacks on everything from buildings to government stuff. And guess what? The crackdown on prison life by Brazilian bigwigs just cranked up the chaos, unleashing a wave of violence all over the city. In Brazil, the crime gangs are heavily armed and they are prepared to defend themselves. It's an urban conflict, as dangerous as any war. In the tough fight against gang violence, military police are on constant patrol in Fortaleza's gang-held territories. Stop and search operations are the usual drill, as officers work to uncover suspects and shady dealings. But weaving through the maze like favela streets is no walk in the park, with danger always just around the corner. Basically what you're saying is it is terrorism, but yeah. because of the law, it isn't prosecuted as such. Yeah. yeah. The Brazilian government is really stepping up against gang violence. You can feel it. Cops are everywhere, and they're cracking down on gangs. But let's be real. The level of violence is no joke. It's a tough test for law enforcement, pushing them to their limits. As the fight for control goes on, there's a pressing call for quick action and some serious changes in the laws to treat gang violence like terrorism. Only time will tell if Brazil will be able to take back its streets and bring peace to this non-stop urban battle. Crashing into areas as quickly as possible, uh, areas they know are dangerous, and areas where they know there's gang activity. In fact, the whole area is gang controlled. In the gritty underbelly of Recife, Brazil, an audacious jailbreak unfolds before our eyes. An ominous calm blankets the prison yard as inmates, shadows cloaked in secrecy, plot their grand escape. Watch closely as chaos ensues, a calculated dance between freedom and captivity. Suddenly, an explosive eruption shatters the tranquility, setting the stage for a meticulously choreographed evasion. The prisoners, like chess pieces in a high-stakes game, exploit the confusion. Police, faces etched with bewilderment, grapple with regaining control, but the cunning escapees slip through their fingers. The aftermath remains an enigma. Did the authorities manage to apprehend any fugitives, or did the shadows swallow them whole? As the dust settles, the only certainty is the lingering suspense, each frame a compelling piece of a puzzle, leaving us hanging on the precipice of revelation. In South Carolina's correctional facilities, a relentless battle unfolds against contraband. A recent operation at Kershaw Correctional Facility uncovered a myriad of illegal items during a routine search. Officers make the first discovery of the day, but it wasn't found by the team. Instead, an inmate gave it up. So this is a homemade weapon that inmates... Homemade weapons, tobacco, and a cache of concealed cell phones were exposed within prison cells, posing grave safety risks. Director Brian Sterling underscores the perils, citing past incidents where contraband fueled violence. You'd be amazed at how many phones were buzzing that day during the search. Inmates use those phones to commit more crimes behind bars. You name it, from continuing to deal drugs, sexual predator, they can continue that. They can scam the military, as we've seen. Despite challenges, correctional officers stand vigilant, 
employing high-tech scanners and thorough searches to curb the inflow. Beyond prison walls, efforts extend to thwart items thrown over fences. The fight against contraband remains arduous, demanding an unwavering commitment from prison staff as South Carolina's correctional facilities prioritize the ongoing battle against illicit items. Anything from drugs, illegal drugs, grips and pain, medi medication, property we look at, stuff they shouldn't have. In this video, authorities are seen executing a targeted safety operation during the festive season. The mission combines community monitoring and prison searches, focusing on parole compliance and eliminating contraband. At Polesmore Prison in Cape Town, tactical teams conduct early morning raids on inmates' cells. The goal is to root out prohibited items like cell phones, sharp objects, and drugs. The footage showcases the proactive commitment of correctional services to uphold safety and security standards. So last night we did two operations. The first operation was to go into the communities for a community corrections monitoring. With the festive season approaching, law enforcement remains vigilant, anticipating potential criminal activity. This operation demonstrates their readiness to respond swiftly, ensuring public safety and maintaining order within correctional facilities. Festive season is time for families to enjoy themselves, but it's a dangerous time because during that time, some members of the communities do commit crime. We are always ready. Within South African prisons, a covert world plays out as inmates ingeniously conceal cell phones, defying strict regulations. The video demonstrates the intricate process. An innocent-looking lotion bottle becomes a covert communication device. Inmates navigate security, extracting the concealed phone with a seemingly innocent gesture, illustrating their resourcefulness. Right start, dismantling. You can see there, there's a cell phone coming out. In this footage, the cunning technique involves crafting a deceptive Nivea body lotion bottle, ingeniously intertwined with another, housing a hidden smartphone. This snippet reveals the ongoing challenge faced by prison authorities, highlighting the persistent struggle to curb illicit activities. Close as it was. There's a trick from the offenders hiding cell phones. Efforts to thwart cell phone smuggling demand multifaceted strategies, urging enhanced security, stricter regulations, and initiatives to disrupt contraband networks. The inmates' craftiness poses formidable obstacles, emphasizing the need for continual innovation in prison security. In the grim aftermath of the al Kakuz prison massacre, chaos erupted as inmates sought refuge on the roof, struggling to evade bullets. Gunshots pierce the air, echoing the ongoing crisis within Brazil's prison system. The video captures the harrowing scenes of prisoners crawling to safety, desperate to escape the turmoil. This disturbing incident exposes the deep-rooted issues of overcrowding and gang violence plaguing Brazilian prisons. It became clear when reports mentioned rubber bullets that the police were trying to control a riot among inmates. Authorities faced a daunting task as they confronted the consequences of a weekend massacre, revealing the urgent need for systemic reforms to address the nation's prison crisis. In the latest turmoil to plague Brazil's overcrowded prisons, 152 inmates managed to break out of a jail near Sao Paulo, sparking a frantic manhunt by Brazilian police. Despite the efforts of military police, only 90 of the escapees have been recaptured so far. The chaos erupted when inmates set fire to one of the cell blocks following a confrontation with a prison guard who confiscated a mobile phone. Amid the chaos, 62 inmates successfully fled the Sao Paulo prison after igniting a wall of the facility, underscoring the ongoing challenges facing Brazil's prison system. Following a bunch of chaos in Ecuador, President Daniel Noboa went all out, declaring war on 22 gangs, labelled as terrorists, after a series of mutinies and hostage situations. He declared a state of emergency and imposed a curfew, making it clear he wouldn't negotiate with terrorists until the situation calmed down. We will 
not negotiate with terrorists, nor will we rest until we return peace to all Ecuadorians. With a whopping 22,000 soldiers deployed, they've been highly active, locking up over 1,300 troublemakers and apprehending eight terrorists. Oh, and they've snagged 27 runaway prisoners too. Stuff got real when the big narco gangs tangled with the government, sparking riots in prisons and street brawls that left 19 folks dead. But the Ecuadorian security squad showed them who's boss, reclaiming control in several prisons and freeing more than 200 hostages, including some big shots held captive by the gangs. For the tenacious and patriotic work, which today has allowed all the hostages, 61 in total, to be released from the Turi prison in Cuenca in optimal conditions. In the heart of a Venezuelan prison, it's a whole different world. Barriness prison, packed and kind of a free-for-all, is all about the inmates running the show. Can you believe they've got their little government going on? Meet Wilma Lopez, a guy in for murder, but he's not just any criminal. He calls himself a positive leader. Sure, there's violence in charge, but Lopez turns it around for the better. Suddenly, the prison's got upgrades, more places to live, a cockfighting ring, and even a DIY gym. Inmates try to recreate the outside world with religious spots and a bit of normalcy. But deep down, one truth remains. They're all still chasing that freedom. And life inside is just a distant echo of what's beyond those prison walls. In the middle of a tough situation, the Wanahida holding cells reveal some pretty rough scenes of neglect and despair. I should go in isolation. Check out this raw footage where a gutsy inmate spills the beans on the messed up conditions they endure while waiting for trial. The cell rooms are like a spooky snapshot of how messed up things are, painting a sad picture of neglect. This was the alternative place that I was told I can come and sleep. Watch as the inmates grapple with basic tools to deal with a janky toilet system, giving us a glimpse into the harsh reality of their daily grind. Wanaheda paints a pretty bleak picture, forcing viewers to face the harsh truth of lives lived in the shadows of an uncaring system. This is the stick. Flash. The footage, captured on a mobile phone, shows prisoners in a Brazilian jail celebrating their escape via a tunnel they dug from inside their cell. CCTV footage outside the prison captures some of the men fleeing across the yard. A total of 13 inmates successfully evaded capture. The convicts recorded their escape and shared it online, revealing the cramped conditions within the tunnel. Reports indicate that the prison guard on duty had not inspected the cell for nearly 60 days prior to the escape, leading to their suspension. Despite the daring getaway, police have apprehended two of the escaped convicts, highlighting the authorities' efforts to recapture the fugitives. We now know that there had not been an inspection of the cell for almost 60 days. 60 days. They dug a tunnel and it was easy to escape. The video footage reveals a chaotic scene inside the Sandoval County Detention Center during a riot. Correction officers deploy flashbangs to disorient inmates and regain control. Inmates are seen scattering as officers equipped with shields, gas masks, and riot gear move in to quell the disturbance. The specialized tactical support unit is called in when standard measures fail to pacify nine inmates. Despite inmates attempting to block entry with makeshift barriers, officers manage to breach the door after multiple attempts. When the specialized team gets there, there is a battle at that small opening in the door. The tense standoff finally ends with inmates subdued and led out, leaving behind a scene of destruction and discomfort with waterlogged floors and damaged property. The air is hard to breathe. The yeah. air! Inmates beg for fresh air. And jail guards cough because the air is saturated with pepper spray. 